Hey everyone, Josh from CaliforniaThroughMyLens.com. Today we're in Los Angeles and I'm gonna show you 10 spots to view the Hollywood sign. Recommendation number one is Lake Hollywood Park. If you're looking for the easiest, close view of the Hollywood sign, then this is probably your best bet. This dog park has street parking and amazing Hollywood sign views. You can even walk up the hill along the road if you want to get another slightly different view towards the sign. Parking can often be a little bit difficult, but if you go on a weekday, you should be able to get a spot. If you're looking for the easiest, close view of the sign, this is it. Recommendation number two is the Lake Hollywood Reservoir. Located just a little ways away from the last spot, the Lake Hollywood Reservoir has a great view of the sign on the southwest side. You can park at the Hollywood Reservoir Trailhead for a short walk to the lookout or you can park on Lake Hollywood Drive and walk about a mile to this viewpoint. I love seeing the sign from here as it's hard to beat the view with the lake in front of you and the Hollywood sign in the distance. The next four recommendations are all found along the Brush Canyon Trail. First up, take in a view of the Hollywood sign from Bronson Canyon. Bronson Canyon is where they filmed some of the Batman TV show, and if you walk through the cave you can get a nice, far away view of the sign. It's usually not super busy and it's a pretty cool way to see the sign even though it's from a distance. Continuing on the Brush Canyon Trail, the sign will peek out in the distance as you make your way towards it. After connecting with the Mulholland Trail, it will eventually split to the Holly Ridge Trail which takes you down to the next viewpoint. The Holly Ridge Trail viewpoint is part of a no longer accessible trail so you have to get to it from this hike. It provides a nice view of the sign with a few small mountains in front of it and it's much less busy than the next recommendation of the viewpoint on Mount Lee Drive. Mount Lee Drive is probably the best front facing view of the sign but it's not as easy to access as Lake Hollywood Park. You can drive through the windy streets of the neighborhood to get up here, but there's basically no parking and lots of signs you will want to watch out for even if you do find a spot to park. Most people who come here walk along the streets, hike in on the Brush Canyon Trail, or get dropped off somewhere nearby. It's not as easy to get to, but it's a beautiful view of the sign and it allows you to access our next viewpoint, which is the back of the sign. My last recommendation along this trail is just to hike up to Mount Lee and go behind the Hollywood sign. If you leave from the last viewpoint then you're almost already to the top of Mount Lee which is the back of the sign, but you still have a steep paved road to get there. Once you get there, the views from behind the sign looking down on downtown LA and Lake Hollywood are really impressive. I have done this many times and it never gets old to me to see the sign in this way. Moving on from the close viewpoints, my next recommendation is Griffith Observatory. The observatory is an amazing place to explore on its own, but it also has great views of the sign out in the distance. I love watching the sunset on the sign from this angle, and even though it's far away, it's still a great viewpoint. Bonus points if you hike to Mount Hollywood from the observatory as well, as there's some great views on the hike up and from the summit. Recommendation number eight is the Hollywood Bowl and the Hollywood Bowl Overlook. If you visit during the day, you can walk to the top of the seating area of the amphitheater and get some great views of the sign behind the famous Hollywood Bowl. Alternatively, you can drive up to the Jerome C. Daniel Overlook, which is also known as the Hollywood Bowl Overlook, and get a higher up vantage point to give you some views out towards the sign as well. Recommendation number nine is Runyon Canyon. For my second to last recommendation, take a hike through Runyon Canyon Park to get a good view of the Hollywood sign. I like this park in general as it's a nice way to break a sweat in the city with some fantastic views of Hollywood in one direction and the Hollywood sign in the other. It's another far away perspective, but it's definitely one you want to check out if you're looking for a good view of the sign. Recommendation number 10 is Hollywood and Highland. My last recommendation is the closest that many tourists get to the sign, and that's the mall at Hollywood and Highland. This area is the main tourist section of Hollywood, near the Walk of Fame and the Chinese Theater. If you go to the mall on the corner of Hollywood and Highland and go up to the second or third floor, you can get some great views of the sign in the distance. They also have some little telescope things that you can look through the sign at, and if you're not planning on leaving the downtown area of Los Angeles, then this is one of the best ways to see the Hollywood sign. 
I know I said this list was only 10, but I wanted to give one more recommendation at the end, and that's the palm tree lined street with the Hollywood sign in the background. It's really far away, and I wouldn't recommend going if you don't have a zoom lens, but it is a great spot to get a unique picture of the Hollywood sign. You can see this view near 5th Street and Windsor Boulevard. That's it for my recommendations of where to view the Hollywood sign. Let me know if I left something off in the comments, and we'll see you on the next adventure.